right, so <clears throat> Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I think they're in the woods. I don't know where they were. Where maybe woods, a city, somewhere where bears would be. Oh, I guess woods, right? Yeah. And so they were just they were just chilling. They were out on some sort of like expedition. They were probably hunting for um, woozles and heffalumps. <laughs> and uh, and so Goldilocks comes and she's like, "Yo, listen, anyone home?" And no one answered. So she's like, "All right, well, I guess this porridge is mine just because I found it." In someone else's house. So on did their she have property. like? Did she have like spoons, or did was it just like on the table? Was it on the counter? Did she? Have I'm like pretty sure. It or like she just. It was there was no spoons because they're bears. So she ate it like the bears. She just st- stuck her face in and just went ham. Well, no that's wonder why assuming. the bears wanted to get her and kill her because. Yeah, that's how she got her hair in it. Oh. Then she tasted all the porridges and the big bowl of porridge for Daddy Bear or Papa Bear. She didn't like that because it was way too hot, and now she has blisters in her mouth. Oh, then Mama Bear's is too cold, and it made her gag, so she threw up all over the floor. Excuse me. Baby Bear's is just perfect, so she oh. keeps eating that, but it still hurts because of the sores in her mouth. But she um, ate all the baby's porridge, right? Yeah, she ate all of it. Well, why like, would you eat all the baby's B-word. porridge? Like, what a, <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, yeah. I mean, well. That's, like, messed up. Why would you eat a child's porridge? I don't know. Especially don't know. a child bear like those. And it needs to grow. The bear needs to grow. How's exactly, the bear gonna get big without exactly. its porridge? So how's the bear gonna get big enough to like? I mean, I think I think the bears get the bad tread for this story, but it's really Goldilocks. She no, broke bro. into a Goldilocks house. Goldilocks she is stole, definitely the worst. Yeah, she's in the wrong. She's bro, in the We're assuming. We're gonna have to assume that she's like six or seven. Yeah, she like, was a pretty. So yeah, uh, she ate all their porridge. Then she like, she was looking for somewhere to sit. She got tired. All that porridge eating, like I guess, like so. There's something about chairs. She broke a chair, right? Yeah, like, she was like, she was looking around. She saw three chairs. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. one was too big. Yeah, one was one too was too big. small. One was or no, the one was too hard. One was too soft, and she and sunk one into was it. Just right. One was just right, and, and that she, was the baby bears. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, exactly. obviously, it'd be too big for her anyways, because she's a little girl and it's yeah, a baby yeah. chair. So no, for real, but. Apparently, she was actually too big for the bear's chair, which means she was probably older than six or seven, and so she's probably like 11 or 12, and she's still breaking and entering, so that's a crime. She deserves, like, prosecution to the fullest extent of the oh, law. That is true. That is a federal offense. She should be going straight to prison. Exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. Like Stealing, breaking and entering, being an... Eating of other people's, I mean, bear's porridge. That's just wrong. That is... A, that is a federal offense. I'm right. 100% so how does sure it? Does the bears ever like come back home, or like does that? Well, ever like happen? she's looking for for some somewhere to sleep, and so she goes upstairs. For some reason, all the beds are in the same exact room, probably or not. Goldilocks comes up the stairs, and she sees all these beds, and she sees the biggest one. She lays down in it, and it's too. It was too hard. It was too. Hard. It's too hard. Yeah, it's too hard. Again. Not comfortable. I mean mm-hmm. that I can relate. Sometimes I lie, lie on a bed too hard. Sometimes exactly, it's too like, soft. You got to find that perfect. Yeah, if it's mix. too soft, you start sweating because you sink into the mattress and it sucks. Yeah. Anyway, so she goes, tries out the big Papa Bear's bed and it sucks because it's too hard. And then she mm-hmm. goes to the Mama Bear's and it's too soft and she sinks in. And so she goes to the Baby Bear's and just falls right asleep in it because it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> She's just chilling, sleeping in the bed. Then the bears get home from hunting woozles and heffalumps, and they got their kill on their back. They they got a pretty they raked in a pretty good kill this time. They're probably gonna cook it and mix it with the porridge. That's exactly, why they that's the what porridge. you do with woozles and heffalumps. Like, let's be real. Like, like if you're trying to hunt for an animal, why are you going for a heffalump? Yeah, heffalump. Oh yeah, because it tastes amazing, especially with, with porridge. The porridge. But exactly. not anymore because all the por- porridge has been eaten. And exactly. I don't want to eat porridge. Um, all right. So do they ever like find her? What happens? Well, what they happens look around. The the story? Yeah, they like they all look around and they see the porridge that's like halfway gone or whatever, and all the baby bear's porridge is is all gone. So he starts crying. He's like, "Where the <laughs> my porridge?" And then he goes over and he's like, look, mom, dad, someone broke my chair. I am so upset right now. And then he goes up, he goes up the stairs. He's like, and let me guess, someone messed with my bed because those are my only three possessions, my porridge and my chair and my bed. And someone's been sleeping in both your guys' beds. 
and he goes and checks on his own bed, and he sees that Goldilocks is asleep in it, and they scream really loud and wake her up. I'm sure they're roaring at her. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're gonna yeah. eat her and take her hair, you know? Yeah, and so she wakes up. She's like, oh, and she's like, all right, I better book out of here. And the bears are probably trying to get her, so the she's bears, scared. Yeah, she's, she dips out of there, and the bears chase her down. So l there's no winners in this story, really. There's just there's just well, sadness. Why would we tell our death. like kids this story? Exactly. I, mean, I don't it's, understand. It's messed up, like breaking and entering, like yeah. stealing and, and damaging other people's property. Hair being thrown everywhere, her gold <sighs> locks, know, porridge man. gone, chairs broken, bear kids crying. I've never exactly. seen a bear cub cry before. That's but just, that, that is messed up. Yeah, like, bear cubs right. are like the right. coolest children uh, on the whole Especially, planet. Especially, they pro they're probably grizzly bears too. I mean, grizzly bears are the only bears that can make porridge exactly. out of all the bears. No, for real. So they're probably, no black bear can big make porridge. big brown masterpiece bear looking dude. Just crying his eyes out because some jerk ate his porridge. Well, I mean, I think that's the story, so the end, I guess. That's true. The end, I'm pretty sure. <laughs>